Okay guys, I am very very proud to announce that our profit for the company for the last month. This is our turnover. I appreciate you guys. That is very high. Okay. Well, now I tell about now I am facing a serious problem uh, rising in our organization. That is uh, data stress style of product. What do you think? Yes, sir, I do think the same. Uh, because we are using different side of leadership uh, methods in different uh, departments. What methods? Uh, in the one department is using autocratic model, while other is using uh, democratic model. Okay, so I can say that uh, under autocratic style, the employees are not allowed uh, any kind of freedom. Okay. On the other hand, as compared to the other, in the democratic style, the employees are provided more freedom and it enhances their working opportunities and skills. Okay, what about you think? Sir, management can play major roles. Okay. Some of them are establish a proper communication system, mm -hmm. better relationship between managers and employees, payment as per the work done, other non-monetary benefits like uh, tour package, vacations, etc. Okay. I also join my hand to him that because if we offer such kind of facilities, uh, it uh, boosts the employees' uh, confidence or uh, affection towards the organization, which helps them to work effectively. As far as I'm coming, because a uh, uh, recent study, as per this study, is quite, it's quite clear that, so let's just look at it. Okay. Because it's quite clear that if we are able to offer such kind of a facility for employees, which is it is? First kind, the non-monetary benefits, I'm talking about non-monetary non benefits, okay. such as the two packages okay. and other uh, get-togethers, so something good. like that. Okay. Because it creates a uh, feeling of family between the members, within the organization itself. Okay. So that we are able to get uh, more productivity as well as more component from the employees towards the organization which will help us to attain more and more. But actually what we are facing is a true problem as, as creation suggested because the different departments are using different kinds of style. Uh, if we are able to convert that particular style into a more suitable one, uh, suppose if one, one of them require a democratic model, we are, able to, we are not able to implement it. A drastic change will occur within the department itself. So why should we try to adopt that particular style so that we are able to work effectively within that particular department? Okay, Shiva. First of all, we want to calculate uh, each member's week and strength. Yes, sir. After sure. that, we can make the conclusion. Sir, one more suggestion that I would like to put forward is that first we have to find and analyze what the leader is capable of. Okay. Each department should have a particular leader uh, as we have assigned each of them. First, we have to evaluate their abilities first. Then it will be suitable for us to decide which kind of a mother that we could go. We could go with him. Okay. It will be more suitable. Uh, it's one of the opinion that just I put forward because of uh, what we are doing. Okay, I didn't. Okay. okay, guys. Now we can discuss a similar kind of, uh, kind of case studies do exist. That is uh, Tom and Derek. As both of them are uh, chosen a different universities kind in their work area. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, analyze our situation with that case. Okay, let's discuss about how to overcome from this. Okay, sir, I have an idea. Okay. Establish a proper communication system. Okay. So I do support with uh, so far uh, the point that is quite valid, but now okay. if we are able to establish a proper communication system, mm -hmm. we are able to deliver the messages from the top to lower level, okay. so that the employees will get a clear idea regarding to what they have to do mm -hmm. or what they are not supposed to do within the organization or what are the limits for doing the operations. Okay. Even if such kind of system does not exist, it will uh, entirely collapse the organization structure as, as far as we are concerned because uh, the structure is quite an important one for functioning for effective functioning of an organization. So establishing a proper system of communication will be suitable for us for running the organization effectively. Okay. So I have another opinion. Okay. Uh, first thing you have to fix a standard for each individual in their uh, work. Uh, through this we can uh, identify the actual performance with the standards okay. and take corrective action towards uh, how the work is going on and uh, improve the uh, work done by employees. For the word priest, I would like to recommend that directing, directing is most important part in every organization and only through proper directing and proper guiding to employees can be provided and I think there is a lack in directing and it should be improved in the case of direction. That's all. Okay. Okay, Shiva, what about the style that we should reference to this case? So, in this case, uh, as we have stated that both Tom and Dredd are two different managers from different companies. 
But one of the adopts uh, the style of autocratic, as so, uh, my friend Suraj has quoted on the, the autocratic leadership is quite uh, not suitable for the employees because it does not provide them any kind of platform for stating their opportunities. But this doesn't mean that this kind of system can be implemented because this kind of system can be implemented if, uh, if there is no alternative. I mean, if there is no alternative for performing any kind of operation, this style can be suitable. But on the other hand, as every coin has two sides, the democratic style is more favorable as compared to, as compared to other styles because it allows the employees to ex exploit their talents and skills and utilize them for the organization, which will help the organization to attain, achieve, achieve their goals more effectively as compared to the autocratic style. So my personal opinion regarding this is why shouldn't we go for a democratic style of leadership because it provides them an opportunity for expanding their career. Okay. So I would like to go with the uh, democratic democratic model of leadership here because it helps them a lot. As far as uh, the autocratic leadership is concerned, it will provide a more opportunity for the employees. Okay. Okay, now we can uh, talk about uh, what uh, what the management can do to motivate the employees. Okay, what's your opinion? So, to find the each employee ability and skill, give them proper training, and they want to want them to give them. Okay. So then here the management can also play a huge role here because they are the guiding spirit of our organization. Without them, we are not able to do anything. So they play a major role. Like, uh, why shouldn't we go for a new system, like uh, a combination of both the uh, monetary as well as non-monetary non systems, uh, which includes a two packages, and uh, apart from two packages, why shouldn't we offer a gathering? Because uh, in the, uh, like a full family, yeah, family gatherings. because in Google, uh, as, we, as, as they have said in their report, they are starting to plan such kind of a thing, because it helps them to create uh, a good feeling for the employees. Okay, sorry. So it will be able to bring uh, the entire family of the workers under one, one shelter or one umbrella because and also uh, offering such kind of a facility will improve their uh, contribution towards the organization because they will become more uh, loyal towards the organization. So I would like to suggest this kind of a point to, the, to you as well as the management for implementing such kind of a scheme in our organization. Okay. Uh, and my opinion is we cannot force the employees to work their job. And we want to find more ways to motivate the employees and, and to increase the productivity and also um, satisfaction of job of the employees. It will be more creative in the organization and uh, it will be more effective. Yeah, but we must understand what exactly motivates the employees. Yeah, uh, motivation can be uh, uh, either be uh, depends upon each employees. Motivation may differ. Uh, it may be on the terms of monetary benefits, non-monetary benefits, other welfare activities. Various welfare activities can be conducted by the organization in order to motivate the employees. Because motivation doesn't seem always equal to every employees. Employees are each, 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 each one are individually different. So motivation can, uh, can be increased by providing various incentives and then monetary benefits, non-monetary and other welfare activities can be conducted. Okay. And we want to create better communication with the employees. Okay. Uh, it will be very creative. And another one is give training as well as their productivity and the uh, work. Oh, so to increase their knowledge about the job. Yes, yes. Uh, and the direct contact with, contact with the employees must be increased. There is a lack in the direct contact with the employees, it should be increased okay. and it will be a very major boost for the organization. Okay. Also, sir, I also like to uh, I mean, I mean, I like to add one more point that why should we go for some more social responsibility? Because social responsibility is gaining more importance. Okay. It will help um, I mean it will help to improve the company's image in the market. Okay. So we are able to gather uh, more effective employees. I mean, uh, those who have been working in another organization who are interested like to come to our organization also. Okay. It, help, uh, it also will help the company to boost up their productivity and the profit levels also. So why shouldn't we go for more social responsibility as well as the CSR, that is a corporate social responsibility because it's all about gaining more importance now it is. Okay, it's an important thing we can uh, do that. And some more conflicts with the employees in our organization. Okay. We want to reduce the conflicts between the employees uh, through various kinds of activities uh, like uh, outbound training or like etc. Okay. Also, I also joined to that particular point of uh, conflicts in, uh, is often in the organization because okay. different kind of interest group comes into action. If there is any employees uh, stress in their job, 
Sure, okay, sir. Because we are going for a mass scale production, okay. uh, we like to obtain more uh, more market share. So definitely there will be sir. So why shouldn't we go for a team games? Because it help in, help them to improve their team spirit within the organization okay. in their working place itself. So that they are so they are able to get a, a relaxation. At the same time, they are able to develop a good team spirit. Yeah, the stress level has to be decreased. Only then the productivity of the employees can be increased. Okay. Okay, that's implementation spirit board. Okay guys, it's a wonderful chat videos. Uh, okay, we are uh, glad to thank you to pass their valuable information to the management. Okay, we are able to implement after the requirements. Thanks guys, and the meeting is adjourned. Okay.